first thing that they remember, remember, I think they'll say that I never smile. Lebrent has a brilliant smile. It's the brightest smile I've ever seen. All the time, am I moody? Are you moody? Are you right? Are you right? Uh, yeah. He's smiling all the time. They say it's the African in me. And actually, he's quite funny as well, but I probably haven't told him that over the year. He's a popular member of the group. He's quite reserved, but he's well-mannered, he's polite, and he's made a lot of friends. Cheeky, honest, hard-working. He's got a, a calm about him. I love it when he's in the kitchen. He doesn't really talk much, but there's always a calm when he's around. 15 has changed my way of thinking about life and food. He likes to work hard, and he likes to put in the grill section. I never thought I could complete something, mostly because either I get bored, or I just think, oh, there's no point in doing it. It's not going to get me anywhere, do anything for me. He'll be a butcher in the future. That's what he wants to do. That's where he thinks his skill lies. He's been great for us in that role. My mum's been pretty supportive as well. She always wants to know what's going on and then all the little gossip going in the kitchen. And I love telling her. Proud of everything I've done. Yeah, I don't, this is the most best thing I've done in my life. I just get emotional talking about it. You'll definitely hear from me again. Be back. That's me signing up. Peace. Mark with a C, or KFC as everybody calls it. Mark's great. Uh, he's absolutely on point most of the time, apart from when he's sleeping. I didn't realise you were recording. Yeah, 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 yeah recording. <laughs> <laughs> Can't believe that he has survived the year on that red motorbike thing. Please, please, please be careful on that motorbike. I've never had an accident that's been my fault. God, my mum's going to see this very talkative, is always asking questions, sometimes just asking questions without listening to the answers. He wants to know recipes before they actually even get printed. He's constantly asking, which is great because he wants to learn. It's quite an experience moving from Cambridge, well, a little village outside of Cambridge, down to a big city like London, finding your way to work, finding your way to college, making new friends with the hours that you work here. And uh, it's, it's been hard, but it's been well worth the effort. Oh, Mark, uh, what can I say about him? <laughs> he's really enthusiastic and he's always offering at dinner a drink for someone. He always wants to make people happy. He doesn't stop. He does not have an off button. Mark can be very loud sometimes in the kitchen, but he's a good guy. He's nice to work with and that. So, yeah, he's a cool guy. And my favourite section in the kitchen is pastry because I love putting passion on a plate and seeing people's faces light up when they see what they've got for dessert. Mark just needs to relax, feel his way through the role and he'll make it through into the industry big time. In a bit, peeps. Oh, Jeff, where can I, where can I start? Where can I stop? Jeff. Never knows when to shut up. He's cool. <laughs> He's all right. Very honest, very trustworthy. Very genuine, completely respect his honesty. I've never passed anything in my life at all. School, college, everything got kicked out of them all, innit? He has done fantastically well on the course and is really wanting to change his life around. I kind of needed the opportunity for someone to be there guiding me the way to show, man, that, like, do you know what I mean? Giving man the influence that like, you can do this. You're not just that person that everyone keeps saying that you are, that you keep going back to. He absolutely wants this and he will be a great chef. He's proved me right. He's been an amazing apprentice. He's finished Chef's Week um, on a high. I can go out there with a good CV and a good background of cooking and good cooking knowledge and get myself a job, bro. No problem at all. Couldn't ask for anything more from the lad. He, he's been fantastic and he's going to have a great career in front of him if he carries on like he's carried on in the last four or five months. Looks like things are looking up, in it? Thanks. I'm out. Looks like I'm about to start my career. Bye. Pierre, Pierre, Pierre. Well, I definitely think people are going to remember me for being, like I said, laid back. Very, maybe a bit lazy, in it, But that's just me. But at the end of the day, I get my job done. He is a guy that steps back 
um, and looks at things, really thinks about things a lot and sometimes is misconstrued. Pierre has had a lot of ups and downs throughout the course. There were some sticky moments at college, which I know wasn't his favourite aspect of the programme, but he managed to complete it and to get his qualification, which was a huge achievement for him. He has taken me to the edge. However, on his final week, we give him his final, final, final opportunity. He proved me right. He proved me wrong. He's much more happy in the practical, busy um, kitchen. Very hard working lad, keeps his head down and always say yes chef, we chef and three bags full chef. At the end of the day I wasn't in a place I wanted to be in it. But now at the end of the day I've look where I am now in it. I've got somewhere and I've got a qualification on my back and that's that's the main thing really, something to fall back on. Yeah, it's been a hard year, it's been a hard year for him, it's been a hard year for the for me working with him. He's kept on at it and he has completed this course and I know his mum's going to be really proud. Really and truly I want to say a big thank you to my mum that put support into everything. Like she supported me a lot during this whole year. Enjoy yourself, hope everyone has a good night. I'm out, peace. Fatima is this year like so grown in confidence. Um, she started the year actually probably didn't speak to me for about the first four months. Shy, I think. She's just, yeah, it's so lovely. She, she pretends she's shy, but we know she's not. <laughs> I, I can't even put my finger to it, but I'll probably say I'm more confident now to walk into a room and just probably not sit in a corner. She's very cool in the kitchen, very competent, and again, she'll be a brilliant chef. Very quiet, very respectful of the kitchen, always gets on well with people. Fatima is a bully. <laughs> She's a great girl, uh, very hard working. Um, you can tell that she really wants something out of this. She's become more focused on what she wants to do and more reliable and more responsible as the programme's gone on. In Chef's Week, an amazing talent, and I know she has the ability to be a brilliant chef. So look, get out of bed and get it sorted. I would like to thank Tromi for the past year. I don't know, for being supportive with a lot of things, I suppose. Some personal, others just waking me up in the morning. Uh, little things over the year, just quite a lot. I'm really going to miss Biscuit, so um, I hope he does really well. And good luck again. Bye, everyone. <laughs>